Hi and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Racer High Racer gloves. They are super comfortable sports and race gloves that cost £169.99 a pair. <laughs> Racers, high racers, there's nothing flash about them, there's nothing fancy, but these are supremely comfortable gloves that are made from the best materials. Starting with the palm, they use kangaroo leather. The main strength of that is that you get more abrasion resistance per millimeter of thickness. So you get a thinner hide for more feel, but you get the same level of protection. These are mostly externally stitched, the seams around here, which means that you don't get a bunching of the stitching around your fingers next to your skin. With one exception, the most vulnerable seam around the thumb, which is internally stitched, but equally there, that's not quite so important for feel. The leather palm is reinforced in the key areas with a synthetic leather covering here and at the fingers where you contact either the handlebar grips or the levers. This silicon, you should expect that to wear over time, as I'll show you later on. That's not something that will last the lifetime of the glove. It's kind of sacrificial as time goes on. Around the heel of the palm, there's an overlaid section of cowhide, and then there's also these Knox scaphoid protectors, which are designed to make sure that your hands can slide out from underneath your body in an accident. The fastener on these gloves is really conventional. There's very little to write home about here, just a conventional wrist strap underneath the hand, which is pretty much the best place for it, and then a cuff restraint around here to get them securely wrapped around a leather jacket or a race suit. So switch into the back of the hand, cowhide construction through the back of the hand with an overlaid panel so that you've got a double layer on the most vulnerable seam, which is on the back of the hand. That's where you're most likely to um, touch down in an accident. The third finger and the fourth finger are connected by a leather bridge. There are carbon protectors across the front three fingers. And then that impact protection continues to the knuckle protector, which is a carbon fiber panel across the back of the knuckle. That's CE rated as part of its safety rating. So that's both of them are level one, including knuckle protector. That knuckle protector sits on what we call an isolation panel. So as you flex your hand and make a fist, that is able to move independently of the rest of the glove, which makes it more comfortable. If it's sat on one panel, you're having to stretch that leather as you make a fist. Further back down, there are perforations in the leather around here, which introduces an element of cooling. And then there's a carbon protector here for the bone that's called the pisiform, which is the bony protrusion at the edge of your wrist here. Normally when I make these videos, I'm talking about something that I've worn for a couple of days or maybe a couple of months. But with the Race Eye Racers, I've had a pair of these since 2013 and I've brought them with me so you can see what seven years of use does to a pair of these gloves. I'm still using them to this day for summer riding and actually on the second day that I had these gloves, I was on a track day. Normally I'd have waited a little bit longer for a pair of gloves to break in, but these were supple enough straight away that I could take them on track really early on. Seven years later, these are looking pretty scuffed. They're looking pretty grubby. And there's quite a lot of wear around these reinforcement panels here and the extra grips for the handlebar grips and for the levers. Like I said earlier, those silicon strips have all peeled away and I've worn completely through the synthetic there. But I love these gloves. They're so comfortable that to me, those are luxurious extras. I've had a 65 mile an hour track crash in these and they came out with barely a scuff. I think you can just about see a very light amount of scuffing on that knuckle protector. These are my favorite go-to gloves and the fact that they still exist in pretty much the same form um, to this day shows that these are a, a modern classic. I hope that's gone into every detail you want to know about the racer, high racer gloves. But if there's anything else you'd like to know, please pop a question in the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as we can with an answer to that. Thanks for watching.